Hi again, friends. This is Dean Julia of Trinity Episcopal Cathedral in the heart of downtown San Jose with yet another short take for your prayer and pondering. You know, someone just observed that I really like to talk and write about the lives of saints. Well, yes, as I and all of us consider what it is to live a life of faith, hope, and love, there's really no better place to turn than to the lives of those people whom the church calls holy ones, which is actually exactly what saints means. And contemporary psychology even supports the ancient understanding that we learn by mimicking the actions and even the emotions of those whom we admire. So just do it. Pick a saint in the church or anywhere else in your life and let their life choices inspire yours. You know, the church's calendar of saints gives us so many examples to admire. And if you're having trouble choosing from this great cloud of witnesses, we've always got All Saints Day on November 1st to give thanks for all of them. The Episcopal Church has never been too technical in its identification of saints. We include them via legislative process, in part based on the strength of local devotion and pride. The fact that some faithful witnesses are included in our calendar sanctorum does not mean that others are less holy. It does mean that some lives are seen as particularly valuable exemplars for all of us to learn from. All Saints Day, which together with All Hallows Eve and All Souls Day, form what's called the All Saints Triduum, a time to ponder and give thanks for the wealth of witnesses who go before us, scoundrels and saints alike. <laughs>